200 dams break in 10 years and the largest dams that can break any moment. Recording this at silly o'clock in the morning, Monday the 7th of March 2022. My name is James and welcome along to the channel. The title, quite interesting, 200 dams break in 10 years and a little bit later on the largest dam that, or largest dams that can break in any moment. I do believe we have three of them and we do have the levels, we do have the inflow, the outflow, we do have the musical weather and I think we do have some information how you can help me just a little bit all free doesn't cost a single penny shall we get into it i think i waffled long enough now first title 200 dams break in 10 years let's have a little look at this one a dam failure or dam burst is a catastrophic type of structural failure characterized by the sudden rapid and uncontrolled release of unpounded water or likelihood such as unsubscribed uncontrolled released between the years of 2000 and 2009 more than 200 notable dam failures have happened worldwide a dam is a barrier across flowing water that obstructs that directs or slows down the flow of creating a reservoir, the writing is really small, lake or impoments. Most dams have a spillway like the Three Gorges, etc, etc. And the pictures that you're seeing here are some of the dams, not too sure where, this is from Wikipedia, which have broken in the first part of this century between 2000 and 2009. That is quite worrying. If you go to Wikipedia by yourself and type in dam breaks, you can see a list of dams throughout the centuries. And you can always say it's just a matter of time. But what actually happens when a dam breaks? Now, I found this not documentary but i found this experiment which some people did put it on youtube and it sort of represents the dams on the yangtze river it goes a little bit like this so let's just set this up first of all imagine the dam on the right hand side is the three gorges and imagine the dam on the left hand side is a smaller dam above chongqing Okay, and imagine the gap in between this as the Three Gorges Reservoir of 660 kilometers long. I know it's not exact from scale to size, but use the imagination. What's going to happen first would be that basically, let's say there's a increase of water. The first dam before Chongqing is going to sort of like fall apart like this then imagine all this water flowing through the three gorges reservoir until it hits the three gorges dam and it's going to look a little bit like this it's going to push the bottom of the dam which is going to you could say concave in or implode backwards another version of this you can see bam there now imagine that water at 175 meters high let's have a look at the levels for today kutan chongqing 660 kilometers away from the three gorges has stayed stable at 168.30 three gorges reservoir that's my weekly report on my on my computer the Three Gorges Reservoir is at 167.63, that's gone down, and the inflow is at 67, and the outflow is 9960, so it's still about a 3,000 difference. And again, we always wonder what is really going on with these numbers. Are they made up? Are they real? Shouldn't the inflow and the outflow be approximately the same? And if the inflow is lower than the outflow, it doesn't make sense or the other way around but i'm quite a logical guy if anyone could explain it that would really help 
Right, let's go on to the musical weather. Looks like this. So the title of the show, we've done the 200 dams, we got the evidence of that from Wikipedia and the largest dams that could break at any moment. Of course, the first one top of the list is going to be the Free Gorgia Dam and if you just go back to near enough any articles written since 1994, it's just full and I mean full of controversy. Experts have written about it. I've done videos about it. People have done fake videos about it. It's it's sort of something that's going to be inevitable. And the question is why and why and why did they put it there? The next one is in the Middle East. And this is another big dam called the Mosul Dam. And this dam, I don't know much about it. In fact, I know very little about it. Possibly I know nothing about it. But according to various websites, this dam is not the strongest dam in the world. I do believe that 26% of this dam has already failed on the right hand side and it's hanging on by a thread. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is in India and I am going to have great difficulty in pronouncing this word or the name of the dam it's the Mulapiriya dam Mulapiriya dam and according to some sources this dam is in grave danger as well now there are other dams in the world which could collapse or break or whatever or fail at any time and I hope that the authorities would have the inhabitants below the dam informed about it so there is some kind of emergency package there and i know some of you would live next to or, or near a dam um, have you got an emergency package if these sirens go off so you have like minutes to evacuate and maybe get away to safety these are all questions in mind so these are three dams which could break at any time. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be in another 10 years. It could be related to the weather, it could be bad maintenance, the list goes on and on. Now here is something new on YouTube and it's called um, basically clips. Fans can use clips to make short snippets from your videos and they can show or they can share on their own social media. It's a great potential to get more views. And I would like to share this with you. Where is the clip? Basically, if you go to the video which is showing, and on the bottom right-hand side, on a computer, for example, you would see the word clip. Just press that, and I think you could find a clip, and then you can share it on your social media. Instead of just sending the link, for example, or just sending a picture, you can put this on your Twitter for you can put this on your Facebook thread, Snapchat. I hope it's all okay. My computer and my GoPro was going beep, beep, beep. So let's leave it there for today before anything else happens. Thank you as always for your time. And I will be back hopefully tomorrow with some more information about dams, the free gorges, China, etc, etc. Be well, be safe. God bless. Bye bye for now. Thank you. Oh, and I think there are some outtakes as well after this. Bye. Just going to check, first of all, that this is all working fine. So that needs to go there. That needs to go there. And I think that may be ready. Let's have a look.